All right, traders. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. Fellas, welcome. Welcome to another mighty video. My name is Marcel, and you already know that I am mighty today. Another green day. And actually, for a fraction of a second, I thought that today was going to be the last day of the month. I was prepping my monthly review. I was prepping my monthly recap. I unfortunately saw my profits on the month, which usually I don't like seeing because then that forced me to trade my PNL a little bit. Um, so that sucks. Apparently, there's another day left in the month on Monday. Monday is the official last day. <clears throat> so this won't be a monthly review, but instead, it's going to be another session in which I'm going to show you the stocks I traded, how much money I was able to make or lose. And of course, I'm going to show you some live trading at the end of the video. Today, I had some crazy trades. As you can see from the PL right there, I'm finishing up over $5,698. Mm, but, but not after getting a nice little haircut here. Ay, ay, ay. So you can see I was up just a little bit over 8000 bucks. Um, got a nice haircut. Got a nice haircut on ticker symbol AURC, which is, of course, continuing higher. All right, so um, let's leave a like, please. I really appreciate it. If you leave a like, I'm going to be continuing to show live training archives. That is something that I've been seeing a lot in my comment section. That people are missing the live training archives. That I'm not showing enough live training archives. You got to understand that I'm trying to keep most of it for the MMU members. Because if you truly want to see me live trade every day, if you want to see all the tricks I take every single day, I'm going to encourage you to visit that first link down below. That's where I do my live trading every day. I show my trades to all the all the MMU members. Um, it, we actually that actually reminds me that we are running a forty percent discount sale by utilizing the word independence. So if you use independence at checkout, you can get forty percent off. This coupon here is going to expire um, by the end of the month here, which is not today, although I thought it was, but it's going to expire on Monday. So you guys still have a few days if you want to pick up the program. Um, for a steal, for an absolute steal, you know, forty percent off of a four, five ninety is going to make the course like two ninety. You can really and truly learn all my strategies for two ninety dollars. Okay, and then on top of that, you can have three months of you know learning from my daily live trading from the full archives. Anyways, so I was trading, um, was very aggressive today, took very very high amounts of risk. And, you know, my last stock that I was trading was ticker symbol AURC. This is a stock that I was trading with 250 shares because it's very high price. It's very volatile. The spreads were crazy. There were like a few dollars a share at, at, at a time. So, you know, understanding that I at least was going to lose a few dollars per share, I didn't want to trade with big size. So I tra traded it with 250 share size. Of course, when I'm trading it with 250 shares, I was able to make over a thousand bucks throughout this move here, throughout this parabolic move straight up, you know, high day breakup was clean here, then a dip out of a halt, another dip out of a halt. I quickly found myself over a thousand bucks on the ticker. That's when I, that's when I crossed over the $8,000 mark on the day. And you know, I was living, I was going for that 10 grand day. After that, I decided to get even more aggressive. So I doubled my share size instead of buying 250. Now I had a cushion. Now, you know, I was probably trading my PL a little bit, trying to go for that 10 figure for that five figure day, and I started trading it with 500 shares. Of course, when I decided to increase shares just a little bit, you know, the stock loses its power, it starts to go sideways, it starts to consolidate. And because of the spreads, you know, I just got murdered by the spreads. 500 shares long, $2 spread, goodbye, grand. 500 shares long, $1 spread, goodbye, 500 bucks. Right, I did. I did that for a, for a couple of times, and then just like that, I went from up a thousand to red two thousand on the ticker, and then and then here was when I truly just decided to walk away because, you know, that's a nice haircut. I still have a nice day on my hands, so I don't want to screw it up, because this is the ticker that you can very easily get frustrated, emotionally hijacked, and you know, blow up blow blow up your account with, like, this grind right here, from forty six to thirty three. That best believe that that blew a lot of people out of the market forever. Just so that they can come after and see that the stock was at 54. That's what the market would do to you. And I didn't want that happening to me. So, you know, I, I was self-aware enough that I, that I felt my emotions kicking in a little bit. I just gave a huge chunk out of my day. 
I thought at the time it was the end of the month also. And it's Friday. I was like, all right, that's it. I'm calling it. So I did. And I'm glad I did. Even this, even if this thing is going higher, you know, it's very tricky light on volume. I mean, look at these candles. They're barely even forming. Um, my biggest winner today and the one that we are going to be reviewing is VIEW. Uh oh. Damn it. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm not going to trade it. I feel like every time I stop trading and then I come back and start trading, I just get profits back. Although this is looking amazing. I mean, not yet, not now. I wouldn't buy anything here. But the fact that we're climbing this much, I, I really think we're going to fly through 1845, then probably into a hold up around 19. I don't know, but volume is lighter. It's definitely going to be trickier. And my mental capital is not there anymore. Like, one red trade could trigger me. I don't know. Maybe it's not worth it. I'm just going to leave it alone. Anyway, so this thing, um, I had it from yesterday. I think I traded it, I traded, traded it yesterday a little bit. But then it didn't do much. It just popped up into a halt. I've been trading a, a lot around holds lately, so I had it in my scanners, it popped up. I think I traded it once, and then it faded. Power Hour, though, it gave a nice, impressive move, and because of that, it wasn't in my continuation list. Pre-market, it was holding up levels, it didn't have enough volume, so it was not main watch, but it was definitely worth keeping on a side monitor. As BJDX, which was the first stock that started moving today, it started popping up, you know, I pull up my view, I pull up view, which is the stock that I made five grand on because of a sympathy play. They were very similar in price. They were very similar in float. They were very similar in volume and the way they were moving. So I felt like if the other one is going straight up and it's halting up, people are going to get FOMO and people are going to start looking for the sympathy play. The closest thing to BJDX at the time was view. And understanding how much it moved yesterday, I felt like it was good to keep an eye on it. At first, I caught, uh, I caught a loss on this, um, thinking that we were going to get hauled up here. We didn't, so I, 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 ca I caught a big loss. But then on this green candle, was a nice winner. And this ABCD pattern right here was my biggest winner, I think. No, 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 actually, no, it was not. But this, this here, I'm going to give myself a little credit. I called this setup out over um, 1390s, essentially over 14. I don't know what it was, but it definitely gave me that look that it was about to fly. I was like, guys, view right now. View, 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 view. Um, and then I jumped in long around 14s. And then I held most of it all the way up to the hold level. I sold at the hold level because lately I haven't been trusting holds because... Usually when I hold into a hold, it's just either going to resume flat and flush or it's going to resume lower and then I'm just going to catch an unnecessary loss instead of taking profits. So it's getting near the hold level, I just sold everything. It resumes higher. And this is probably the riskiest trade I've taken in a while. It resumes higher. It dips. Dip and rip in my head. Instantly jump in 2,700 shares. Mind you, I'm buying a stock at $15. At $16. This thing could flush, you know, two, a dollar share easily. Two dollars a share, yeah, even three dollars a share. I mean, look at this candle, it went from 17 to 15. So, and this is like a normal red candle under the context that this is a very volatile stock. Worst case scenario, I'm, I'm trapping this hole down and it resumes here. So I lose four dollars a share. So, you know, taking almost 3,000 shares and, and losing three, four dollars a share was risky and um, I'm not gonna lie, my heart was definitely in my throat. One of those that my heart was just pumping. You know, I haven't, I haven't felt like that in a while. And you know, the fact that I did today means that, you know, I was risking for the biscuit. I'm glad that the trade worked out though. So it assumes higher, it dips. Of course I buy the dip. No fear, no reservation, no hesitation. Yes, be a share size, but at the end of the, at the end of the day, this is my strategy and my entry is right there. So without even thinking twice, I jumped in. The only thing I did though, because I was a little afraid, was that I sold very soon. I jumped in the instant the stock bounced, I was selling. I'm like, I have to sell. I can't afford this thing reversing on me now. 
you know, and, and of course, you know, I missed out on on the bulk of this one minute candle. It was like it was like this. It was like dip and rip around here. So I captured like half of the candle. But I was just too eager to get out of it. I, I was just I just wanted to get in and out and survive that trade. It was a nice winner, made a little bit over over like fifteen hundred fifty fifteen hundred dollars in that trade, like fifty cents on twenty seven hundred shares. Then after that, I took this high day breakout here, which was a bear trap because we had a hold down that resumed higher. And as I saw a lot of volume picking up, I jumped in for a high day breakout. And then after that, I think it sold out and I left it alone. So with that said, why not? We jumped in the live trading archives and review some of these trades because it was indeed insane. So let's take a look first at this trade. So again, this stock was giving me the look right here. I'm trading ticker symbol V E E V V V V V I E W. Jesus fuck. Fucking hell, I'm telling you, it's like now that I know that I'm doing the YouTube short, I always fuck it up. Anyways, I'm trading view. This stock is giving me the look. Is that look that I that's telling me, hey, I'm about to fly, so you better buy me. I jump in 1,500 shares at 13.99 looking for the breakout of 14 there's 14.16 and i'm looking for that continuation move 14.50 i take it off the table now next level can we break through 14.50 i'm watching the tape can i see some green some green on the time sales it's holding it's a little spready but it's holding whole level is right there 14.95 there's some green there's some more green i jump in 2000 shares now at 14.44 we get the break through 1450, but unfortunately the bids don't move up. So I had to sell for like a break-even trade. Am I going to jump back in here? Anticipating now the breakout of pre-market highs. Aligning with the breakout of 15. Back in 2000 shares. Can we snap through 15? There it is. There it is. There it is, you good girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm usually one of the guys that cringes so much when people refer when when guys especially traders refer to a stock as a female he's like oh she's 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 looking right oh she's trading right i think she has more in the tank oh she's pulling back it's like fuck, fuck you want to just want to come to your face and knock you the fuck out he's like why would you say that not that i'm not, not that i it's just so cringy like ugh. Not that I, not that I'm, not that I'm, not that I think. Oh, don't disrespect girls. I am the, I am the hero. I, I am the hero of women, and I'm going to protect women at all costs. No, I don't care about that. It's just so cringy though. Like, uh, she's looking nice. Oh uh, yeah, give me that perfect girl. Ugh, that's so fucking gross. Now that I said that, probably everybody's gonna say it in the chat room just to bother me. Anyways, gets halted up. Um. And now I take the craziest trade I took all day. So I'm looking for assumption. I'm trading ticker symbol view. It resumed higher. Can we dip? 15, 16, 16 is holding, 16, 60, 15, 68. I jump in 2,700 shares at 16. And I'm looking for the pop up. Just like that, I sell and make over a thousand bucks in five seconds. And honestly, my fill's getting out where 1649, something like that. Although the ask was literally 17. So I literally missed on half a dollar on like half, half a dollar per share. So I'm long 1607 and there's 1699 the ask. And I hit the bid earlier, you know, missed, oof, missed that little move. This is what I don't hold into holds. I mean, look at this. Resume, it opens and it instantly flushes. But then I take this high day breakout that I was that I was mentioning earlier. So I understand that now the high day level is 1717. We had a hold up, we had a hold down that resumed higher, that's bearish. Usually that traps a lot of short sellers. Short sellers usually have the stops a high day. I understand that because I'm perspicacious and I'm and I am just the smartest person in the world. So now I'm looking for a breakout of higher day, right? Because we're going to squeeze the hell out of our shorts. Shorts are trapped, they're gonna cover over 17. Watch. Watching, jump in 2,000 shares, 1689, before the breakout happened. And just like that, look at that. 
Look at that. 18 already. Like, holy crap. And just like that. 5,000 in the ticker. Chris people was asking me, how the hell do you make 5,000? This is how, my friend. I risk, my brother. I risk. I reward. And that brings me to the disclaimer. What I'm doing here is bonkers, right? This is crazy. These stocks are crazy. These companies are crappy. Most people lose money. And if you attempt to do any of this without training first, without getting educated, without training in the simulator first, without proving concept, without learning a strategy, I will 100% guarantee you that you will lose. We lose and you will lose a lot. So please, I know it's exciting to see all these trades. I know it's exciting to see that I'm up 5,000 here, 2,000 there, whatever. It's entertaining, whatever. But please be mindful of risk. I am an experienced trader and I've been trading for, for plenty of years now. This is very high risk stuff. This is very risky. You can blow up accounts while trading this stuff. So please be mindful of your risk, reduce share size, and even better trade in a simulator. This type of stocks are very light on volume and they're very spready. So I would call them like pro level stocks. For the longest time, even after turning the corner, I would never, I would never touch these. I will only stick with the, with the price range from one to 10, tight spreads, actual breaking news you know, top leading gapper type stock. And I would just always ignore these type of moves because they're they're very risky, right? They're very risky. Um, not so long ago, I lost six grand in one trade, trading something like this. So please go over this disclaimer. Don't take anything I said as financial advice and learn to trade first. Learn in a simulator, learn about strategies, learn about risk management strategies. And then only that after, you know, start dabbling with small share size. You know, don't have fun with that I made this money. Don't have fun with that that guy made that made that money. Don't have fun with that stocks are going, you know, up a lot, down a lot. The market is here to stay. So, and if you really and truly want to make a career out of this, you missing a few months of trading, you missing even a few years of trading shouldn't shouldn't really matter. So, you know, it's an amazing, it's a, you know, fuck like stock is crazy. I'm, this is crazy. Like, uh, everything's crazy, but nothing that I did today was safe and nothing was guaranteed. I was accepting that I could have lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten thousand dollars today, right? And, you know, if you want to trade successfully, you have to accept the risk. You have to know that that's a reality. You losing a lot is definitely a reality. Um... So please be safe. And um, yeah, one of the ways that you can be safe is by getting some training first. Whether it, is, whether it is with me, whether it is with someone else, whether it is by yourself, just learning in a simulator and tracking your metrics and trying to, trying to develop strategies, whatever it is, take it slow. There's no rush. The market is risky and everybody out here is here to take your money, which is why we call this merciless markets. There's no mercy in this market. There's zero mercy. Zero. The moment, the moment, the moment a beginner trader jumps in with a, with a 25k account without knowing nothing about risk management, algos are gonna wipe that account. Other traders are gonna wipe that account. Short sellers are gonna wipe that account. Institutions, companies doing secondary offerings are gonna wipe that account. The market is not a place meant for you to make money. The market is just a place in which a transfer of money happens. Dumb money to institutions. Dumb money to Wall Street. And every now and then, you know, every now and then you might get, a, get lucky and get a good win, but the markets are merciless. Which is why me and Renelis Trader partnered up to tell you the truth about the market and really show you how we trade. Like... This is our curriculum. We, we share all our strategies, all our favorite patterns or all our favorite indicators. But then, um, but then here we show you how we trade every day, right? It doesn't get any more transparent than this. Every single day, every single trade, you can see it. 
So this is not one of those courses that I am I am telling you buy here, sell here. And then all of a sudden I disappear and I come back at the end of the month and I'm like, look, up a billion. No. This is a this is a course in which I in which I say I buy here and I sell here, and then I give you access to all this to the archives. So you can actually double check and see, okay, is this guy actually like buying the dip out of a halt? Is this guy buying high day breakout? Is this act is this guy actually you know, is he doing what he's preaching? So I feel like the live training archives is one of the most valuable things in our program. And, you know, going back, going back at it again, uh, we are running a 40% off coupon. So if you guys are interested in joining, you know, you know, actually don't take it, don't take it from me. Take it from Lucas. Let me give a chat, a shout out to this guy right now. His results are mind boggling. I don't understand, but they are true. My month ends here. I will, I will be going for a two week vacation break tomorrow. I'm so grateful for the YouTube algorithm recommending me Mighty Stocks channel back in 2022 and for Marcel to refer me to Relentless Trader Discord. This community is awesome. And without it, I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't have pushed to come back to the markets. Honestly, one of the biggest, one of the best things that has ever happened to me. Have a great week and all. Seven, sixteen thousand in one month. Like, are you okay? This is crazy. And I must say that Lucas results are not typical. And and just because you buy our course like Lucas did, you trade with us like Lucas is doing, that doesn't mean that you're gonna make 16k next month. It does not mean that at all. What it means is that it is possible but it is not guaranteed. Like, what is wrong with you? How, what? Actually, nothing's wrong with you. You got the best teachers in the game. Um, again, a course always has a bad stigma and I feel like everybody cringes every time I promote it, but I'm really proud of this product. And even though day trading courses have a bad stigma and they all sound scammy, I really think that we put, what we put here together definitely offers more value than the 200 bucks that we asked for right anyways um i don't know i was gonna say something i forgot yeah anyways this is the chat room Shout out to everybody. Jackson on the red today. Um, hopefully make, make, it, make, make it back. George, green, penny high price. It's not my type of price, but we'll be good on Monday. Good, 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 good. All right, so that's going to do it for me. Um, stay tuned for the weekend. We're going to be showing a full live trading archive. I believe I asked a few videos ago for 100 likes. You guys absolutely smashed the like button. So I'll be posting a full live training archive. Actually, I can post it from today. Or from another day, I don't know. Um, for MU members, of course, the archive is already up. You can check it out fully. Uh, but for you guys on YouTube, I'm going to be posting a full live training archive on the weekend. All right? So leave a like if you like like live training archives. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. That's it then, yeah. Adios, uh, arrivederci, obrigado. To the moon, baby.